Hey guys, everything I've used already touched. Back again here with another video, and uh, I know it's been a really long time since I made another video. Um, sorry for that. Um, just let me give you a quick update on what I've been doing these past well, month. Um, well, it's been like finals and everything, and just craziness like that. So just been really busy. Uh, Christmas was good. I got a Kodak Z8 for a new camera. I got an iPad, which I had no idea of. And then I bought my own iPod Touch, so, um, but yeah, so I got those, and I got some other stuff, but, you know, nothing related to this channel. Um, my mom had surgery, what is it, four days ago now? And, uh, she's okay, she, um, just had, you know, a little surgery, just, it wasn't anything really too big, but, um, she was in the hospital for two days, and now she's home, so, uh, that's all good. Uh, I'm going to be doing a giveaway at 200 subscribers. Um, I'm going to be giving away some promo codes for for some apps and giving away some iTunes gift cards. Uh, there will be multiple winners on this giveaway, so not just one person, so you guys will have more chances to win. Um, but with uh, that, this video is going to be about uh, jailbreaking your iPod or iPad, iPod Touch 4th generation pretty much everything. I think it does the iPhone 4, um, the iPad, iPod Touch 4G, and iPod Touch 3G, but I'm not, I think it, they does the uh, iPod Touch 3GS with the new boot ROM, but I'm not sure. I'll have to look up on that. Uh, just read the description for all the details, guys. Uh, again, all the firmwares and everything are going to be down there, and all the programs. So basically what you're going to need here are, these are all the the files that you're going to need for this. You're going to need the new Red Snow, and I'll leave a link to that. And you're going to need um, the firmware for whatever device you're going to be using. For me, uh, I'm going to be using the iPad because mine. I just, you know, just I'm just going to boot tethered because this is a tethered jailbreak, guys. Which basically means that um, you will have to, when you turn off your iPad, iPod, iPhone, whatever, um, you're going to need to. Plug it into your computer if you want to run any of the um, jailbroken, like any mobile substrate uh, extensions, which is all your jailbroken stuff. So, sorry for the long intro. Let's get started with the jailbreak. <clears throat> and again, sorry, I am kind of sick, so my voice is a little messed up. Sorry. Okay, so you're going to browse for the firmware. Mine is the iPad. So, it's going to do this. Start that. Okay, click next. And this is going to be the same thing if you if you're just jailbreaking, as it would be if you were just um, booting tethered. And I'm going to boot tethered. So this is the thing for the device. You have install Cydia, so you guys will click that for the iPod and the iPhone. There's uh, enable battery percentage, uh, but I'm just going to click just boot tethered. Okay, so then I'm going to click next. So my device is off and plugged in. Uh, here, one sec. Um, yeah, it's been weird. I'm just going to pause this for a sec, sorry. Okay, guys, sorry about that. Just It kind of messed up. My iPad turned on. I just had to turn it off again. Okay, so just make sure it's turned off. Okay. I'm just turn it off right now. That's mine's off. So you're going to put it in the DFU mode right now. So click Next, and we'll just do the on-screen instructions. Okay, so you're first going to... Hold on the power for three seconds, then you're gonna hold power and home for ten seconds. And then release the power and hold for fifteen seconds. Really, it's only about six, because it does it at nine, you'll see here. There we go. Now keep holding the home button, do not release, or else it might mess it up. I know that I did that the first time and I had to uh it just it just didn't work out too great. So as you can see it's rebooting and now it's done. Okay, so click finish, you can release the home button now, and uh, you'll have it. If you're familiar with jailbreaking, you'll see the uh, pwned um, pineapple on your boot screen. And um, yeah, so if you're first jailbreaking um, and not just booting tethered here, you're going to need to, again, you're going to need to boot tethered. After you after it reboots jailbroken, um, you'll most likely have a white city icon, and even if not, um, even if you do have the regular shitty icon, and you press it, it'll uh, it won't work properly. It'll just kind of uh, I can't really explain it, but it, it won't work. It won't open. So that means that you're just gonna have to turn it off, plug it in, and boot tethered, and then everything should be working fine. 
Um, I am going to be doing a video of the case I have my iPod, which is the in-case convertible book jacket, which is a pretty nice case. It's uh, similar to the Zugu smart case. Um, I think that's what it's called. And uh, yeah, because you can uh, put it at different settings of viewing. Okay, and there's, there we go. Uh, my iPod's now up my iPad, and it's perfectly fine. So that's basically how you jailbreak, guys. And uh, thanks for watching. Bye.